All right, so we got 10 things gamers hate about Starfield's got video. <laughs> Starfield is out. Well, it's not out. It's coming out. Starfield is a stellar sixth, experience, one that we've given extremely high praise to over the last it. week. Make sure to check out our review for our full thoughts. But of course, it's not a perfect game. No game ever is. True. Any True. game that's as massive, as packed with content, and as dense with systems as Starfield is, is going to have its rough edges. And True. here, we're going to talk about a few of what players have taken note of in Bethesda's sci-fi RPG. Let's go. About. Oh, is it, is it about the aiming? Inventory system. Encumbrance can be a divisive mechanic among gaming audiences, to say the very least. And while okay. BGS games have always made players contend with inventory limits, they feel brutally strict in Starfield. Given the amount of things you're picking up in Starfield at all times, from yeah. weapons to armor to resources and much more, it's surprising yeah. how quickly your inventory can max out. Even if you expand your inventory I mean, to the max, it still feels a bit too limiting. While even using companions stuff. as mules and dumping your excess items in your ship's cargo doesn't do too much to help, because those quickly get maxed out as well. Oh well, yeah, you can't really pick up everything. I just played that's like natural, you know? No local maps. The lack of local maps in Starfield is perhaps one of its most confusing omissions. When you're on a planet, while you can pull up a surface map, it's basically just a grid that's completely lacking in detail and only shows the spots you can fast travel to. Navigating cities okay. without having a map that you can look at can make for some confusion, especially when you're trying to look for vendors that sell specific See, items. but it's a space game, though. Quest you log and quest tracking. Mind, space game. So Starfield's like, quest log feels a bit no bare bones in what it presents. Like that while has, it does categorize quests you know, across so groups like that. main missions, faction missions, activities, and the like, basic sorting options, like sorting missions based on location, aren't available, which, given how much you're hopping around from place to place in the game, seems like an oversight. Additionally, the log itself isn't very descriptive about where you're at in a quest, though you do get a brief description of the mission when it initiates. That description doesn't update as you progress further, which means that if you're coming back to a quest after a while and don't quite remember at what point you left its particular story, there's no real way to get your bearings again. This isn't something to hate, though. Enemy and companion AI. BGS has crammed Starfield full of an impressive variety of weapons, ranging from shotguns to rifles to pistols to laser pistols to electromagnetic weapons and so much more. That variety, yeah. combined with the tightest and punchiest shooting mechanics in a BGS game to date, makes for solid, consistently enjoyable combat. Every now and then though, the AI starts acting up, which can take away from the combat experiences. Both your enemies and your companions have the tendency to randomly start behaving quite erratically, from standing out in the open as target dummies to running through a storm of gunfire without any regard for safety. That's Thankfully, game, the AI has That's received some game. significant upgrades from past yeah, I mean, BGS so titles, though instances like these do still pop up every now and then. This is nothing to hate, though. But I understand what he's saying, though. It's nothing to hate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ammo types. One thing that a lot of players have noticed is how quickly you can run out of ammo in Starfield, though that's not because there's a shortage of ammo to be found. No, the problem is that there's a multitude of different ammo types that can be used, and not all of them work with every weapon. When you pick up an ammo type or buy more ammo from a vendor, the game also doesn't really tell you which of your weapons it'll work with, which can make for plenty of okay. unnecessary confusion. I understand it. Okay, I understand it. No land vehicles. Starfield goes above and beyond in terms of letting you be the spaceship pilot you've always dreamed well, yeah, of being. Thanks is, to its tight sense, and enjoyable right? spaceflight controls and the level of freedom you're afforded in building whatever ship you want to build. When you're on land, however, things are a little different because the game doesn't give you any traversal options other than walking or sprinting to your locations, I mean, other than using your boost pack, that is. Of course, in dense city hubs, that, that isn't sense, really a huge like issue, it's a, it's but on the hundreds game? of uncharted planets scattered throughout the settled systems, exploration and traversal does suffer due to the lack of I land vehicles. I just think vehicles. it makes sense, you know? I mean, it could at least add like, like, a, like a range rover or something, but like, but at the end of the day, I mean, I get it because it's, like, it's a, you know? Okay, so where it says... Clunky UI and menus. Okay. Starfield's I mean, user interface it. and menus need plenty of work in the coming weeks and months. For a game that has this much going on, designing a UI that's simultaneously clean, quick, and informative is always going to be a massive challenge. But Starfield yeah, doesn't it. necessarily succeed on any of those fronts. 
Menus are often too cluttered, and yet they're not always as informative as you want. In addition yeah. to the aforementioned lack of detail in the quest log, for instance, the game also doesn't show you details on weapons or loot that you could pick up, so you don't really yeah. know if it's even worth picking up. You just have to pick it up and check out the item in your inventory to decide if you want to keep it. Meanwhile, okay. simple actions can also require multiple button presses and more menu navigation than they should. Fast traveling from system to system, for instance, has you going in and out of multiple menus and submenus, which maybe wouldn't be as big of a problem if you weren't doing it as often as you do in this game. Weapons free. Open fire. Open fire. Ah, I love that animation. I can't Bugs lie. Bugs and technical issues. Starfield yeah. is, without a doubt, the okay. least buggy a Bethesda RPG has been in a long, long time, if not ever. But that doesn't oh mean God, it's not buggy these, bro, at all. Severe issues minions. like crashes and bugs that block progress and quests are, thankfully, not nearly as common as you might expect from a BGS game, though you still might encounter them if you're unlucky. Though more minor issues can be found pretty frequently. Characters oh, walking hey. into each other Whoa, or into door? objects, NPCs speaking to you with their backs turned, faces not animating properly, and the like. Yeah. But I think, I, that's, like, Starfield is a that's ridiculously massive games, game and has a multitude of systems that players can lose themselves in, which, given how much step they all boast, never fails to be immensely rewarding. But getting to that point can be a little rough for some, because the game also isn't great at tutorializing. While you can pick okay. things up on your own once you start testing things out for yourself to see how they work, ideally, the game should do a much better job of introducing players to different systems this, and mechanics like and getting them familiar like with how they work. Different ways of like just throwing you in. I feel like games have, some games have like a way of just like breaking everything down for you, and some of the games just throw you in with just like Not a seamless open like world. Tutorial. Unlike most other things that we've spoken of here, this isn't an issue that BGS can address with post-launch patches, short of redesigning the whole open world, which they obviously aren't expected to do. But it is an issue that many have pointed out. Starfield, like all prior BGS RPGs, isn't a seamless open world. Interiors of buildings, planets, space, and often even single rooms are separated from each other by loading screens. Yeah, Moving from one know. environment to the other is something you'll be doing a lot in this game, which means you'll encounter plenty of load screens, though thankfully they never last more than a few seconds. Having a massive yeah, open see. world game where you can seamlessly fly through space, land on a planet, and take off again, all without ever hitting a load screen, would obviously have been the dream scenario, though Starfield yeah. sadly hasn't taken that approach. And with that, we reach the end of this video. Have well, anything shout out to Gaming Bolts for the video. Um, here's my thing, right? A lot of these things that this guy right here addressed in the video aren't things to hate. Um, I feel like a lot of people are, I mean, obviously there's nothing wrong with like, you know, speaking up and giving your own, you know, uh, opinion on anything like that. But I feel like a lot of people when it comes to, especially when it comes to like, just everybody jumping on one thing, um it's it's very irritating because a lot of these things can be fixed i'm not you know obviously starfield didn't pay me to like defend them or anything like that i'm just giving the benefit of the doubt because i played video games before and we all know a lot of video games when they come out um they're very clunky you know there's a lot of things that's going on that you know a lot of glitches a lot of you know a lot of this and this and that so at the end of the day yeah i, I know that a lot of you know big launches you know when they drop aren't perfect you know um but at the end of the day you know I've seen, you know, on the internet, a lot of people, oh my God, so we waited months for this. Starfield is garbage. Like, bro, 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 bro. We knew it was going to be problems. Don't stop acting like, you know, this game was supposed to be perfect since the, since the start. Because last time I checked, at the end of the day, every game has glitches. Every game has mishaps and stuff like that, you know. And so this is why I'm not going off on the game. Um, because I knew that a lot of big games, especially a game like this to where, Bro, you're literally going into space, landing on planets, and doing all this, bro. This game is so big that it's bound to have some type of glitch and and stuff like that. So I I would definitely give um I I'll definitely give them the benefit of the doubt on that. Um, but he did say a lot of true things that you know that people are. See I, the word hate, bro, and I feel like there's actually people out there that actually hate the game already. When I say hate, they like full like worth their heart, like heart on their sleeve, hate the game. Um. And I not, and I never feel like you should like be that way, you know, with anything. With anything, and I understand that if you buy your money, I said if you buy your money, if you spend your money on something, it's expected to work. I understand that completely. I do. But at the end of the day, what you have to understand is, bro, it's a video game. We all know that a bunch of video games, especially a video game, bro, at this size, bro, is gonna have a lot of mishaps, man. And um, you know, obviously, I see them coming through with a lot of patches to like patch a couple things up. Um, 
And, you know, people are, are, are saying, you know, just like this guy said about the whole um, once you land on the planet, um, you know, you have to walk everywhere. You have to run everywhere. I mean, I feel like some people like walking everywhere. Some people, you know, might actually want like a like a like a rover or like a something just to like uh, get to their destinations faster. But at the end of the day, I mean, I just feel like these are these, uh, some of these things are not, you know, to be hated. You know, if that makes sense. I don't think people should hate this. Um, but yeah, other than that, Starfield is Starfield. I like it so far. Obviously, there's like a, a few bugs, glitches, or whatever, but that's expected. I, I'll be real. Comment down below. What do you guys think of Starfield? Um, and, and yeah, I actually want you guys to pan on it because a lot of people, I see a lot of mixed reviews. I see a lot of people giving the game some slack and they say that they actually like it. And you know, all this. So basically, a lot of people are, are, are sounding like me. And then you have a lot of people that, that are just saying, oh my God, Starfield is, is dead. It's dead beat horrible. Garbino, garbage. You shouldn't play it. Da, 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 da. You know, which is understandable. I, like That's their opinion. So um, other than that, comment down below. What's your opinion on Starfield? Seriously, more to the next one I'm out. And.